Hey, good afternoon, North Cobb Christian School family. I hope you're doing well navigating week number three of our virtual education, and I hope everyone uh, looks forward to having some time off next week for spring break. This is such an atypical time uh, in our world, and I just appreciate uh, everyone pulling together, just the feeling of family during these times. I figured it probably wouldn't be a good day for an April Fool's joke, so I'll leave that go for this year, but I uh, just want to Thank you so much to our faculty for what they've put together every week at 4 p.m. They're offering uh, the virtual programs, and I hope that you're able to, to tap into those, whether it's a, a STEAM opportunity or a devotion or a live art class with the RUPS, whatever it might be. Those are every day, seven days a week at 4 p.m., and you can simply uh, log on by following the link at the bottom of the screen, uh, we, or, or you can go to our Facebook page or YouTube page to be a part uh, of those programs. Just appreciate the faculty opening their home, their hearts, and their hobbies to our North Cobb Christian School community. Hope you can uh, take advantage of that. Uh, all of our previous episodes are also loaded on our website if you weren't able to catch one of them lives, live, and they're also available to see in our flight plan if you want more information. Also wanted to say that uh, our virtual family page on Facebook has been just really cool to see. Uh, everyone participate. It's been very supportive and encouraging, sometimes very funny. A lot of really cool, uh, funny things that are circulating during this coronavirus era that we're living in, but also some great educational and uh, spiritual opportunities that are, are in there. So just check out our Facebook uh, virtual family page and be a part of that. Uh, so many of you have jumped in and made that such a powerful tool during this uh, unprecedented season that we find ourselves in. You know, one of uh, the thoughts I've had just uh, in these couple weeks is just uh, that whole concept of family. Uh, and so I think... It, and unlike any other time we've ever experienced, uh, we all know that businesses are suffering. And so I just want to draw your attention to our business directory page on our website. I can't say it's been overwhelmingly utilized up to this point, but we want to get that uh, rolling uh, and make it very vibrant for our parents. Uh, if there was ever a time to use a North Cobb Christian School owned business, whether it's a restaurant or a garage, or a, a software company, or a roofer, whatever it might be. Uh, you'll see the link at the bottom of the page, but uh, you can uh, email your company's information and just wanna really encourage us all to do business with each other during these challenging times so we can uh, just support one another financially and navigate uh, these next several weeks as we get through this uh, time of our, of our world history. Um, also, just had a lot of great feedback on the, some of the yard signs that were displayed on the on the Facebook virtual page. So we've ordered a couple hundred of those. They're going to be uh, in sticking in the ground in our prayer garden right at Eagle Drive and uh, Nance Road. So every North Cobb Christian School family, feel free to pluck one of those out of the ground. They'll be along our car line. Uh, just please take one, but those are for you to take and put in your front yard. It's just kind of a, a show of solidarity that, that we are family. You know, I think of... Uh, I think of uh, our tagline, together, cultivating hearts, challenging minds, impacting culture. As I walk the halls, it's, uh, it's, it's empty without the kids here. And so just a couple reminders as we go through uh, these weeks and go into spring break. You know, we're told where two or three are gathered, there is the presence of the Lord. And so whether that's with your family or whether that's with your uh, classmates or fellow parents uh, remotely, I just pray that we would not take that for granted. Uh, we're told that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If, if we're not living in end times, I don't know uh, what we'd be thinking because we, we see all the signs around us. It's a great time to take spiritual inventory of, of where we are and just realize that uh, this is a time where uh, where our faith is really uh, tested and should be strengthened. Um, you know, it, they call this coronavirus the invisible enemy. And that's the ironic thing about faith. It's not something you can see, but it's, uh, it's just something that should really be uh, solidified and strengthened during these times. We know that the things that we have faith in uh, based on biblical principles are so powerful and so real. And uh, sometimes we take those for granted, but during these times we can be reminded that once again, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things uh, not seen. And so uh, just want to ask you to continue to pray for our community, for our leaders. I think of our alumni that are around the globe working in uh, various fields. I know several alumni working in the medical field, several parents working in the medical field on the front lines. If you're looking for one thing you could do, uh, we could all pray for our medical professionals, uh, many of whom are in our alumni and parent body, that they would uh, just be safe, that they would be strong, that they would uh, just be excellent at their craft, that they would be equipped 
to help our world navigate these these times. And so uh, just, again, appreciate the, the, the solidarity and the feeling of family when we think about that word together. And when we see that statement on the banner or on the wall, I think after these times we're living in, it'll become a lot more meaningful because we are in this together. And I just appreciate uh, the North Cobb Christian School family so much. And then, of course, I'm sure most of you saw the governor's order today that uh, the whole state of Georgia is going to go into a shelter in place. He will likely sign the order tomorrow, so we'll know more specifics, but that will mean no school for the rest of this school year. Traditionally, we will continue on with our virtual education. Again, a big shout out to our, our, our teachers and students and parents for the way you've handled that. If you're on faculty and staff, I will email you, uh, the leadership team tomorrow with more specifics on what the shelter in place might mean for coming to campus. But again, let's just take care of each other, look after each other, and get through this flattening of the curve so we can get back to normal. God bless, and we'll uh, hopefully see you soon.